Welcome to complete SQL training. In this video, I am going to discuss about the transaction management and exceptional handling. You can also say the error handling. So if you are working in the real time, okay, so we always need to be take care any unexpected error is occurred, then the data will be rolled back immediately. So, uh, so how we can process this type of the requirement? Okay, so let's discuss with the SQL Server and Management Studio and why required the exceptional handling or why required the error handling. So, for example, suppose I have this table here. Okay, dim customer table is there. So in the dim customer table, uh, you can see I have total 18,000 record is there. And if you updating any record, let's example I discussed in the last video that uh, we updating the yearly income uh, which uh, have the children is greater than uh, three or equal to three. So suppose uh, when you once you uh, run the update statement and if any type of the error will be occurred, any type of the error, so the data got uh, messed up. Okay, so you as a developer, it's very difficult to figure out which data is updated or which data is not updated. And even we lost the customer data as well. So for example, suppose uh, if you updated the couple of the record is the, as per the requirement and uh, after that, uh, the any unexpected error will be occurred and you realize that I lost the all the data which is previously updated. So uh, if you don't have the backup or if you if you want to again uh, uh, restore from the backup, it will take uh, time and uh, this is a very time consuming. So as a developer, uh, always we need to be take care uh, for the all exceptional handling and uh, transaction management. So any unexpected error will be occurred. So automatically uh, data will be rolled back. So I already discussed in the beginning of this uh, uh, video series that uh, we have the two type of the uh, uh, TCL command that is the commit and rollback and uh, we always need to be used uh, uh, while we uh, undo the data means uh, if you want to revert back we will use the rollback and the saving the data we will use always the commit transaction here but that I discussed uh, by using the manually but how we can automate it so the first thing uh, that is the exceptional handling or the error handling uh, we have the uh, catching the error, we have the begin transaction, uh, begin try and begin catch. So this is the basically used to catch any type of the error. So within the begin try and begin in try, you need to be put the logic part here. Like uh, if you updating the data, if you inserting the data, if you deleting the data. So uh, you can use all the statement within the begin try. So any any error will be occurred in this area automatically it will be uh, throw to the begin catch and here you can handle uh, the all the errors so how you can handle the error that i will uh, going to discuss uh, which i discussed the uh, last video uh, that is the handling the null value uh, in that uh, requirement only i will cover this uh, error handling so if you didn't get a chance uh, just you can look up that video uh, that is the video number uh, uh, 55 so you will get better understanding of the, this video so uh, you can see uh, I already covered this uh, requirement on the, uh, video number uh, 55 so basically in this requirement I will not discuss in the detail uh, I'm just going to discuss uh, in this requirement how you can handle the error handling okay so here I have this procedure and within this procedure, uh, this is the my update command is there. So here we updating the uh, logic part. So here I discuss we need to be use the always begin try and begin catch. So in the begin try, I use the begin try and within the begin try because we need to be use the commit and the rollback. So uh, you need to be always use the begin transaction here. Okay, so in the begin transaction, I put it the update statement here and uh, once the suppose this update statement is completed successfully so if you open the transaction uh, you need to be always uh, either you need to close the uh, commit the transaction or roll back the transaction 
so uh, if the transaction is completed successfully i am committing the transaction and uh, just printing the something the uh, message that so the user or the developer they can understand that transaction completed successfully i uh, update script updated successfully you can uh, uh, put the transaction completed successfully so such type of the message so the user uh, can understand that this uh, uh, update statement is completed successfully so if any type of the error will be occurred they uh, they throw the error under the begin catch okay so begin catch we need to be always first put the uh, roll back the transaction because if the data is some uh, 50% data is updated we need to be roll back 50% uh, data so this is the acid property also uh, we will discuss acid property in the future so you will get better understanding that area and after that uh, rollback transaction uh, we you need to be handle the error okay so we have this some how you can handling the all the error uh, like uh, we have the error number error severity error state error procedure so you will get exactly what type of the error is coming so basically error line which line the error is coming error uh, message what is the error message there so we already have the built in function uh, which is available so just you need to be print here okay i will show you how this message is printing in the real so here i am just manually uh, raising the error so just i am just uh, put uh, put it here select 1 by 0 so 1 by 0 is one also type of the error so let me uh, create the store procedure here okay i am creating the store procedure uh, so this procedure is got created and i am executing this store procedure so i am just passing the mail value okay so if you execute this one and if you go to the message window you can see uh, we have the error number error severity okay and uh, error error severity error state uh, which procedure is error is coming so last video i discussed that uh, we can call the multiple procedure but suppose if you using 10 procedure and which procedure is error is exactly coming so uh, that will be give the procedure name example here so uh, you can see my procedure name is updated by gender so same name is coming here so which line is coming uh, 30 line line number 39 is coming so they will count basically from the create statement so you can see create statement is coming from starting from the 17 and uh, you can see error is generating on the 54 line number and uh, this is the error message divided by zero in counter and uh, if you not able to understand the error error what error is coming so we have the error number so just you can go with this copy this error number and uh, just we can paste it into the google okay so if you paste into google uh, so if you paste into the google you will get exactly uh, what uh, error number is there so just for the understanding purpose just you can go to the and uh, type the error uh, 8134 in the SQL server okay so you will get exactly what uh, the error and you can fix the error as well so uh, this is the very helpful for the developer point of view so sometimes any unexpected error is coming and we not uh, understand why this error is come so just you can uh, search in the Google and uh, you can figure it out uh, why this error is occurred so uh, like this uh, you can handle all this type of the error and uh, always keep you mind that uh, you need to be uh, you need to put all this required information and that will be very helpful uh, as a developer okay to figure out any type of the error so suppose if this error will not come they commit uh, the transaction automatically so in the real time uh, whenever we use uh, the any type of the uh, update uh, create update a statement or if you using the any uh, delete a statement or if you using the any insert statement always keep all this statement into the transaction so it will be very helpful to you uh, to uh, roll back the transaction automatically and always we need to be follow in the real time as well so this is the mandatory uh, uh, you can say the code writing practice okay so if you get a chance uh, okay so they definitely uh, you need to be follow 
coming to the interview point of view uh, they will put the question like uh, uh, how we can handle the error in the sql what step you need you need to be follow what code you need to be right here so just you need to remember all this step and this all this in build function okay so uh, you got clear the any type of the interview so uh, thank you for so much for the watching this video okay so i will meet again in next video thank you so much